Is ChatGPT worth buying after a month of use? Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be telling you all the possible reasons why ChatGPT might be worth buying or it might not be worth buying. So please do make sure to fully watch this video till the end so you can get the full insight of this. So is it, you know, actually worth to get ChatGPT or ChatGPT Plus? I'll go through some of the features and how things work by using it today. Now, ChatGPT was introduced in Feb, and the three main benefits here is general access to ChatGPT's, uh, you know, uh, insight even during peak times, which basically means that if your, uh, you know, ChatGPT trafficking servers are absolutely stacked, then that will not have any issue with you. So even if I come over here and I write chat GPT plus over here, obviously chat GPT is available for $20 per month, but obviously the benefit of chat GPT plus is a lot because chat GPT plus basically brings you all these great things. And it's a new model with newer insights and they have newer APIs, newer methods of creation, newer codes. So, yeah, that's why ChatGPT, even in peak times, is going to work for us very fast, okay? So if you're trying to perform some sort of function or ask the chatbot something, you won't get these annoying errors that is being overused and throttled. Instead, you will have access to it with faster response times. And this is definitely true. But uh, the issue here that really applies to the model 3.5 is that we'll go through in the moment and there's priority access to new features and improvements at the time of the post and it was only available in certain spots of the world and uh, you know a lot of people still have fast access to chat gpt 3.5 but obviously 3.4 which is your plus uh, i have used it for a month and i can tell you that it's absolutely out of this world and uh, you know chat gpt is the same you know, if you go and switch over to plus here, it's going to ask you to upgrade to plus. And once you upgrade to plus, it's all going to be the same over here. It's just going to say chat GPT plus, And obviously it's going to give you an option to send a message and all. Now there's also going to be a legacy GPT 3.5, which is basically a quicker version of, uh, you know, this GPT. And they're going to give you more priority. And for $20 per month, the main features that it gives us are really worth it. And one thing that I've loved is that I'm never in a queue and I can directly log in and start asking away any question I want without to wait any sort uh, in any sort of queue or stack. And, uh, you know, they don't give me reasons why the resources are limited and stuff. So let's say I'm going to ask it, why are chat GPT resources limited then obviously as you search these things on and on it's going to give you fast replies where it's not going to stop you in any queue even if the servers are full as i stated previously so these are really useful things that the new gpt has brought us and the responses are pretty much you know there's no change in the quality of the response okay like the quality of the response is as the same as the older gpt but when it comes to the speed, that's obviously the game changer. The speed is the more enhanced view on things. And uh, obviously, as you can see on the left hand side, you can open multiple chats and uh, you can keep going back to them. Like, as you can see, I can open up this chat that I had like what around two months ago and I can still see things about it. And you can also the fun thing about chat GPT's, um, you know, plus side is that you can create different programs using C++ or any other program and it's going to give you a code pretty fast and it's going to be pretty efficient. So let's say I'm going to write uh, write me a uh, tic tac toe program for C++. Okay, I'm going to write that down and here you can see certainly. So here you can start seeing that it writes us a whole C++ program which is also pretty impressive if you think about it because a tic-tac-toe program is a pretty difficult program to write, uh, you know, with all the, um, you could say, loops and stuff. And it just keeps going on and on with the whole program until it's fully done. 
And in the end as well, it's going to show you, you know, how the um, things work with every separate thing. And, you know, the previous GBT always stopped mid game. OK, basically a previous GBT would stop somewhere in the middle over here and it wouldn't complete its answer. Then you would have to ask it to complete its answer, which was pretty annoying for a lot of people. But as you can see in plus, the answer is quick and it goes till the end. So it just keeps going on and on and uh, the resources aren't limited and it just goes on and on with your request because it knows that obviously the user paid for a special plan and in that special plan, the user demands something good. So obviously it makes our time worthwhile and uh, obviously that is why I like ChatGPT+. Then moving on, you could also ask it to ask uh, or add enhancements in this program if you want to. Uh, you can also ask for quick work on math. So if I were to show you over here, you know, there's um, a software called MATLAB. OK, and in MATLAB, you basically do multivariable calculus. So I had to ask it a few multivariable calculus questions, you know, just to test it properly. So first of all, I asked it to create a multivariable equation over here. So f x and y is equal to x squared plus y divided by y so then i asked it to calculate the limits then i asked it to calculate the limits in matlab and trust me these answers were given in a flash like i couldn't even understand how fast it did give me this these answers because in the i've used chat gpt the, from the day it came out and i never got answers as fast as these which was the most shocking part when it came to using chat gpt plus so these answers are going to be quick and they're going to be extremely detailed because previously when it came to math questions, ChatGPT also made a lot of mistakes like in speed. Whenever it like went really fast with its answers, it always messed around with the um, you could say accuracy of the answers, if you know what I mean. So right now what it does is it does give you the answer fast, but I don't think I have seen a wrong answer from GPT in a while. So, you know, as I said, I've been using this for a month and uh, the features that I've seen are absolutely out of this world. Now, these are obviously technical things. You can also ask GPT to create you an AI prompt. So let's say you want to use a mid journey or something. So you can write, write me an AI prompt for the end of the world, okay? So once you write that, as you can see, it starts writing you the AI prompts and you can even write the software you want the AI prompt for. So obviously according to that, it's gonna write it. Write it in keywords and commas, okay? Because that's how Midjourney takes its prompts. So as you can see, apocalypse, advanced AI, self-awareness, humanity's final moments, etc., etc. So you can see how quick it gives you the answers. You can see how detailed it is and you can see how well it is. And clearly in front of you, I had to wait in no queue to do this. So you get the point. And that is how GBD Plus is going to work for you. So I would 100% recommend GBD Plus with more speed. In $20, you're getting more speed, no waiting, more detailed, more quality, more analysis, and much better work speed. So I would 100% recommend GBD Plus. Now, if you want more videos like this, please let me know down in the comments below and I'll make more for you. And if this video was helpful to you, please drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. But yeah, that's pretty much about it. Thank you for watching this video till the end and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.